bandiri, a dum dum day, a dum dum day, do 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 do. Is it a wolf? Is it a fox? Is it a wolf? Or is it a fox? Is it a wolf? Is it a fox? It's neither. It is a Siberian Husky. And today on Heavy Petting Know Your Breed, we're going to be talking about the Siberian Husky. It's beautiful. It's cloudy. So let's go and meet this dog far away from home. They may look fierce and aggressive, but Siberian Huskies are actually very gentle and playful dogs. The Siberian Husky is and has for many centuries been a pure dog, not a wild half-wolf crossbred creature. Bred by the Chukchi tribe of Eastern Siberian Peninsula over 2000 years ago, they are one of the oldest known dog breeds. They were used to pull sleds, herd reindeer and work as a watchdog. The modern avatar of the breed retains most of its inherited qualities. They are strong, compact, working dogs. They are also known to howl rather than bark. Huskies are highly intelligent dogs that get bored easily and hence require a lot of mental and physical stimulation. If trained well, Huskies can make a great family pet. Alright Leroy, time to move it along with the camera. Aren't these guys just beautiful? Aren't they absolutely stunningly gorgeous? I certainly think so. Well, Husky is a derivative of the word Eskimo, and the story goes like this. They're actually from Siberia, but when they brought along to Alaska, they were kept with the Eskimos, and they were dubbed Eski, which finally, of course, shortened down to Husky. So that's how they get their name. Now it's time to meet another Eski, Husky. That's right, Husky. Basically, um, uh, a rescue puppy, I'd call him. He was, uh, he had gastro when I had him, and uh, the breeder basically had left him to die, and uh, was not willing to uh, give him to me. I begged and pleaded, and uh, finally, I just took him and I left. It's difficult for a puppy with with with, with gastro to survive, but he really, really, he um, he made it, and now he's this naughty little thing that runs around everywhere and is absolutely healthy now. He is a little uh, indifferent with certain dogs. He takes some time to get uh, used to a new dog, but with humans, he loves all of them. And that's how huskies are. You tell a husky to guard a house, they're not going to do it. They're going to help the the, the stealer come in, steal all like everything in the house, and go away. You know, he, they're very friendly dogs. Uh, I have another dog who is called Faye. She's an Alaskan Malamute who is. Um, who looks a lot like a husky, but a lot bigger. Um, almost the size of a St. Bernard. Two of them get along like a house on fire. Um, huskies are a little bit more independent than Malamutes, so he does get fed up of her sometimes, but she follows him around like, uh, like Pipe the Piper. She's always around him. She, if I separate them for some time, she's always in distress. She always wants to be around him, and he, when he's away from her, he's always in relief. He's like, okay, I have this big thing off of me for some time. Pasha is crazy. <laughs> he is the most notorious dog and it's, it's true. One thing any husky owner will tell you is you cannot leave a husky off, um, uh, off his leash. If you're taking him for a walk outside, then he cannot, he's not like a Labrador, he's not going to follow you around. He's going to see something interesting and he's going to chase after it. I know Pasha is a breed that, uh, that's very about himself. They, they tend to be a little bit selfish and a little less loyal. But also when I see him being extremely naughty and having, his, um, having the time of his life, uh, whenever I'm, I'm depressed or upset, 
there's a sudden transformation, you know, and he will just come running to me and put his head on my lap. And he'll sit there and he'll make me feel good and that's, that's just something special about him. Well, after that amazingly cute story, that's right, you also heard it, didn't you? Well, there are two theories floating around as to why the husky looks so much like a wolf. The first being the environment, the conditions that they actually were in. Very, very similar, harsh, cold climate. So that's one reason. The second and the more interesting one is because the huskies were so isolated from the rest of the world, they didn't mix with any of the other breeds and they retained their original characteristics, which are very similar to the wolves. So there you go. That's the second. Time for a break. You think about that. Chew on it, and I'll be back. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news, and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com/apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.